Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for July 10th. We're looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. It has pulled, uh, moved lower uh, over the past three sessions, or four sessions rather. We are looking, um, or three, uh, start of the new one is down as well. We are looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 79.91, possibly as low as 78.84. Look for some resistance around 79.75 and look for some support around 79.15. Okay, let's take a look at the Euro USD pair. This pair gapped, uh, gapped down, retraced that gap, closed higher, but uh, completely reversed during today's market action. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 123.82, possibly as low as 121.37. Look for some resistance around 123.50 and look for some support around 122.25. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair closed down, had a fairly large range uh, considering it's open to close range. It is moving sideways overall. Look for it to potentially go as high as 155.97, possibly as low as 154.21. Look for some resistance around 155.50 and look for some support around 154.50. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair closed higher during today's session. Uh, it did, uh, our, gap, our gap retraced. It closed lower, but it did reverse. Look for it to potentially go as high as 0, 98.87, possibly as low as 0, 9700. Look for some resistance around 0, 98.15, and look for some support around 0, 97.25. Okay, now as far as news analysis go, tomorrow we have uh, the Chinese releasing their loan amounts for June. No consensus given on that one, uh, or no time given on that one. Consensus was uh, that the previous was 793.2 billion, looking at a forecast of 880 billion, so an increase. Uh, then at 2 a.m. Eastern, we have the German Consumer Price Index being released uh, for June. Of course, that will affect the euro. They're showing a hold at 1.7%. Then at 2 p.m. Eastern, we have the U.S. Fed uh, releasing their minutes from their June 19th and 20th FOMC meeting. Of course, the numbers have already been released, so typically that report does not affect the market. Then we have a little bit later in the day, the Australian... Uh, employment change being released at 9.30 p.m. Eastern for June. They're, they're showing an employment drop from 38.9K down to 0.0K. Uh, also have the unemployment rate for June uh, showing a slight increase from 5.1% up to 5.2%. Okay, well, what am I looking for during this next session? We've Well, we've had... The uh, U.S. Japanese yen pair has moved down three days in a row. Typically, when we see that happen, uh, we have the potential for a strong move in the opposite direction. We had one day up, two, and three, and then it moved to the downside. Uh, these bars weren't as strong as some of these, but nonetheless, we are getting towards the uh, an area of support here uh, as this pair has been moving sideways so we're either going to punch through it and move lower or we're going to reverse and move higher considering we've started our move to the downside I'm actually going to look for it to move to the upside so if you drop down to the lower time frame zoom out a little bit you can see that uh, we have a nice trend line that has developed over the past couple of sessions Definitely looking for that trend line to be broken. And it even, uh, if you want to, you could pull it on up to this point as well. Not a perfect trend line as far as uh, tagging every high perfectly. Because I'm just dropping that on quickly. But you can get, you can see the idea here that uh, this pair has been has been moving to the downside uh, fairly aggressively and we had a sell-off and then pulled back during this last session and closed a little bit higher. 
uh, I anticipate seeing a sell-off again down to this point and then a reversal and if we get a break to the upside at that point I will look for it to come at very least up to that up to uh, these three highs for a quick scalp of course the far further away it is the more of a scalp it would be uh, I would anticipate it moving uh, at very least up to that point most likely you could uh, look for it to come on up into this area where we saw resistance previously so looking for it to reverse and come up looking to buy off of the trend line and then as it moves higher looking to move to break even and then looking to exit well I hope that helps and until next time this is Jason Fielder good trading